welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Also, thank you so much for being here. So today's Sunday haul is an ASOS haul and I'm so excited to share it with you because I love so many of the pieces in there. Mm, so many gorgeous bits for spring and summer and I really hope that you love them as much as I do. If you have a favourite, please let me know down below. If there's any other hauls you want to see here on my channel, please leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure if you enjoy this video, you click the thumbs up and hit that subscribe for some good vibes coming your way. Every time you do something good, it comes back twice. So why would you nap? So I hope that you will stick around on my channel for a little while longer. I will leave some videos down below in case you want to have a little see what else is over here. And without further ado, let's just get into this spring summer ASOS haul. So if you've shopped on ASOS before, you will know that they stock lots of different stores. So this one is actually from In The Style on ASOS. Um, I think this one is really gorgeous. It's perfect like spring, summer. I said it's a little bit more summery maybe than spring, but the colors in it are just absolutely gorgeous. I love these little under boob details. I just think they're really like chic and effortlessly glam. When I got out of the bag, I was like, oh God, that's gonna be a little bit small, a little bit short, but actually it was fine on. It, I think nearly everything I ordered in a 12, I'll let you know if there's anything that I got a different size in, but otherwise I got everything in a UK size 12 and I'm five foot 10 for reference, so I'm quite tall. Um, this wasn't too short and I thought it was gonna be, so it's got this really cute little bottom frill detail and then like ruching across the waist um, and the whole body. It's got these adorable puffy sleeves, which I just fell in love with. If you know me at all, you know I love frills. I love little poofy. I love frill, like just girly zest. I like everything to be feminine and quite timeless and quite chic and elegant and almost effortless. Like for me, this is why I love dresses so much. And this, by the way, today is a whole dress haul. There's just all dresses. Um, it's because it's literally an outfit in one. You put it on and you're like, boom, there's my outfit. It's, it's effortless. It saves buying two pieces, trying to put things together, getting stressed, what goes, what doesn't go. So this is why I love dresses. But this was £40. Which when I just looked at, I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would pay £40 for it. Only because when I put it on, I, I did the zip up. And you know how a cheap zip feels. I wouldn't say that it was going to break, but I just wouldn't say that it's a nice secure zip. So for that one detail, I would probably put it more at like a £25 mark. So I think it's probably expensive for £40. Although, however, this probably was one of my favourite dresses of the haul. And it's going to be hard not to keep this little number because I just feel like I can just see myself sitting in Italy, you know, with a glass of rosé, nice little sun hat on, sunning myself, wearing this. Um, so... For £40, it's actually not too bad. Like I said, it's like instead of buying one or two pieces, you've got a whole out outfit in one. So I do think for that, maybe a little special or something. And it's not something you're going to wear too often. So I wouldn't worry too much about the zip. Just be careful, obviously, when you're putting it on and off. Might have just been me. I'm quite heavy handed, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Next dress, I got in like a lovely sandy colour, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think this is very. I don't know if you follow many fashion people on Instagram, but I always find Australian brands seem to do things like this that I always want. And I just think neutral tones, really classic, really classy. Um, it's a, I wouldn't say it's short. It actually wasn't as short as I thought it was gonna be. It was a really nice length on. Um, I got this one in a 14, so this one's slightly bigger, but it did actually fit me completely fine. And it was quite clingy around the waist, which I always do find with clingy dresses as I have slightly wider hips. Although, you know, I know they're not that wide, but I do find that's where dresses seem to cling. It's like my tummy area and my hip area. As a woman, you know, we gotta bear some children with these hips one day. Um, so I really love this. I love the neckline. I love how the shoulders were like almost like, almost just fell off the shoulder, which I liked. Um, I don't know if that's because it was a 14 and maybe it was a little bit big on my upper half. Who knows? But I just think it's really plain, simple, chic, effortless. You can just pair this with like some natural, white sandals, maybe some a nice sun hat, a nice little white bag. Oh, actually, I just thought of a bag that would go amazing with this. It's actually from my H&M haul, which was last week's haul. So I'll leave that link down below, the little shell clutch. It's like literally in the shape of a shell and it would just be adorable with this dress. Mm! 
Yeah, that would be a babe. That would be a babe. This one was £30, which I think is probably exactly how much I would be happy to pay for it. No more though, because it's a very simple dress. It's only one, you know, only single lined. Um, yeah, so I really like this piece. It's also got cuff sleeves, which I always really like because it gives that sort of like puffball detail again. And it's just got a lovely plunging neckline, but it's very subtle and understated. It's not like, here's my boobies. <laughs> and that last one was an ASOS own brand one. This one is from Pretty Little Thing, obviously again on ASOS. Everything will be linked down below um, for you to shop in case it's anything you love. And also, if you ever want to shop any of my outfits, you can shop them on my Like to Know It page. Um, so if you have a look here, this is what it is. And also you can head over and follow me for daily outfit inspo over on my Instagram, which is at with love Katie. I'm also holding a giveaway over there. It may or may not be finished by the time you watch this video, but it's definitely worth heading over. There's about 450 pounds worth of prizes. There could be one. And yeah, that's enough for now. I'll tell you the rest later. So this one was on sale down to 28 pound rather than 35. I absolutely love this. I think it's gorgeous. Obviously, it's like everything that I love. It's blush pink. It's got frills. It's long enough that it's not too short. And it's just really gorgeous. It's really classy. I just don't think something like this either will go out of fashion or out of style. So it's kind of something you can keep forever. I think these sleeves are the most adorable things to happen to this world. Maybe some babies too. But secondly, to babies and puppies. These frills on these sleeves. Oh, I love it. I love the neckline. I think it's really effortless and stylish. And I love the bottom frill on the bottom of the dress. Like this just finishes it off for me lovely. I actually got another dress which is similar to this and it's a midi length, but it's a completely different pattern and material, um, which I didn't love as much. But when I got out of the bag, I thought I would love, but then when I put it on, not so much. So this was my favorite of those two. Um, but yeah, this I think will be really great for a wedding. I don't know if maybe for me personally it might be a slime, sl slimy, that's tiny and slightly at the same word. I do that all the time. Does anyone else do that? You're trying to say two words at once and then they just make up a new word. I actually do that all the time. Um, slightly too short for me perhaps for a wedding. Otherwise I think this would be a great wedding dress for £28. Literally a pair of natural nude heels. You'll be away. Some barely there strappy ones, little natural new bag. Oh my god, like nice gold or rose gold earrings. So easy, like literally so easy to just. I just can't believe how much reasonable stuff is around at the minute. I don't know if it's because lockdown is on. I'm just gonna take a breath because I realise how fast I'm talking. I'll be back when I'm taking a breath. Okay, so this next little number, when I got at the bag, I wasn't sure. However, I did love the pattern. I love pink and red together. I just think they really complement each other and I think this is a really, really gorgeous style dress. Again, it's got gorgeous frill detail at the bottom, um, which I absolutely love. It's got like a little extra ruffle on the left side. I also love the puffy sleeve detail. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna hold it this side because the light, it's getting to that time of day where the light is going down. Um, so it's absolutely gorgeous. It's again, like plungy, but not low. So I like that. Um, it's got an open back, which is really sweet, and three little buttons, which I love that they've done in the detail because I hate it when they put buttons on a dress and they don't make them look the same as the material. I just don't get why you would do that. Um, this again was short, but it wasn't too short. And the bow, I'm not sure which one it was meant to be tying up, but I tied it at the front and at the back just to see both options, and I personally liked it at the front most. This is 20... Sorry. This dress was £35, and I felt kind of like Spanish in it. I felt like I should go salsa dancing or something in it, and it felt very sexy, but also very pretty and very cute at the same time. So kind of all that, what I try and go for is pretty, sexy, cute, and simple. Even though it's floral and it's print and it's kind of, I don't know, I really like this piece. I really, really like this one. I really like this one on. And also that one was an ASOS own brand. So next I've got this gorgeous like wrap around, it's almost like a kimono, it's like a silky kimono mint, gorgeous, just absolutely look at that detail, that is stunning, the sleeves are absolutely beautiful, the print on this is stunning, it looks kind of Ted Baker-esque but a little bit more classy, because <laughs> I feel like Ted Baker is very on and off at the moment, very hit and miss, I used to be such a fan but I'm going off it. 
Um, look at that detail, it's just absolutely stunning. This is from a brand called Yas. Yas! Uh, y A S, but again on ASOS, and I got this in a UK 12. The fit was really nice on this one again. It was a little bit big around the waist, um, but I guess because of the tie detail, it doesn't matter too much. And this one was on sale as well. So this one was £70 down to 56 which I think is really good because this is a really good quality dress. Um, you can see the good detail in it. You can see how well it's been made and structured. And you could definitely wear this to a wedding. And I think £56 for a wedding dress is such a bargain. But you could also wear this to like a christening. You could wear it to a garden party because it's not actually that bosh. But you could definitely dress it up and you could dress it down. My favourite kind of things where you can just get loads of wear out of them because ugh, why not? This next dress is really cute and it's just something that is so not typically me. Um, so actually, this one, I loved when it was on. When I got it in the back, I was like, I'm not sure. But this, I never wear skirts that are this floaty because I have slightly wider hips. I always feel like they, you know, accentuate the hips. Which is great if you're like a 50s pinup girl or you want to accentuate your hips. If you're trying to give yourself a smaller waist and trying to give yourself more hips, you don't have much hips. Something like this is great for you because it's giving you hips. But for someone who has bigger hips and a slightly bigger bum, it just like sort of makes it sit out a little bit more. And it's not the next necessarily the most flattering. However, I really, really love this dress. I think it's gorgeous. I really like the print on it. I think the print is stunning. I'm not normally someone for print, but I'm a little bit obsessed with florals. Florals florals at the moment in case you can't tell by this basically whole floral haul um it's got a cut out bit at the back and a really sweet little button detail at the back then it's got a nice stretchy bit around the waist because it's that material that doesn't really stretch at all so it's kind of good that it's got that there and then again it's got this bow detail which you could tie at the front or the back entirely up to you i personally again preferred it on the front and i thought it was really just sweet and easy again like you wear this Nice summer's day, nice stroll in the park, nice picnic, anything like that. This one was £35 and again I got this in a size 12 and I think this was an ASOS. Yeah, this is an ASOS a round dress. Um, also had really sweet button cuffed details on the sleeves, which I enjoy. I enjoy the fine little details in these pieces. When I got this one out of the bag, I was like, I am in love. I'm hanging it up and he seeing it here with this ruching detail because I actually had one very similar to this in a Topshop haul, again, I'll leave a link down below, and it was a sage green dress, and it had like this ruche squeeze you in everywhere, but it was way, way, way more flattering than this was on me. I don't know if this is maybe a little bit small, um, but that dress was phenomenal, and over on my Instagram, you guys loved it as well. So, um, this one I got out of the bag, like I said, I love, and I love the frill. I do love it, I love it on the hanger, but I didn't love it on my body. I don't know if it was just, just too tight, it was just squeezing, in everywhere with these squeezy bits um that was really didn't sound correct squeezing me in with squeezy bits there we are um i love the little sleeve puffy details and the gorgeous square but frilly neckline i'm obsessed with a square neckline i think it's just really elegant and as you can see just like highlights your collarbones makes you look very i don't know i just i just enjoy it okay personally i just enjoy it and then again it's got this really like sweet Crisscross bit in the back with a bow, but the back is completely the same as the front. It's really sweet, this one's £38. So I wasn't really sure um, how they do their pricing because to me, these dresses are very similar to like high street brand dresses, but I do feel like the price ticket is a little bit more, but I don't see any higher quality from my personal opinion. Um, but they are really pretty dresses and you know, they are good quality, but I just don't see, like I think you can get like a Topshop dress for like 20 to 30 pound, most of these like 30 pound plus. So yeah, that's just my 5p. I'm not gonna show you that one yet because I really like that one. That one can wait. That's like a little, maybe a finishing dress you have to wait for that one. So this one is really beautiful. I think this one wasn't available in a size 12, so I just risked it for a biscuit and went for a 10. Um, and actually this one was completely fine because of its floaty detail. It didn't matter at all. It was slightly small on the boobies, but you know, we can deal with that. I kind of liked it. I loved how the straps are just really elegant. It's that gorgeous material that one of the dresses earlier I showed you is in as well. And obviously, again, I love the frill going all the way down. 
Um, and this is more of a midi length, it's not maxi. Maybe on someone's short, would it be maxi? No, I still think this would be midi on some, midi on most people. Might be a little bit, maybe just down to the ankle, but not full maxi. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. I just think it's simple, elegant, something gorgeous you can wear on holiday. Something you can just chuck on those days where you just don't want anything to touch you, but you just still want to look effortlessly glam. I really love this one. Um, the fit was lovely. So this one's only £28, which I think is an absolute bargain for this dress. I absolutely love it. I can just see myself on a beach, having a stroll along, nice bag, nice sun hat, and again, some nice white slinky uh, sandals. Actually, I have some nice ones in mind that I wore from one of my New Look hauls. Um, New Look do a copy of the Hermes sandals. In case you didn't know, £10. I'll leave the link down below as well for the video to the new look haul with the sandals in. Oh yeah, you can thank me later. They have them in like white, tan, green, pink, blush, everything, every color. Um, yeah, so really, really nice. Um, so I love this piece and I think it's just really effortlessly cute and chic and girly and all my favorite things in one again. <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself a bit today. So this next one's personally not a favorite of mine. There's nothing wrong with it, I just personally don't love the print on it. Just preference. The fit was also quite big on this one, so I got it in a size 12, so I'd say go down the size if you're going to go for this one if you like it. Um, it's really pretty sleeves, like re the design of the dress is gorgeous, just it was a little bit big and I just personally didn't like the print. I like the colour of the dress, which surprised me because I don't tend to wear too much in this colour, but I am venturing more into pastels and colours getting a little bit away from all my neutral wardrobe. It's just all neutral white, black, and blush pink. That's it. But I'm venturing into colour, okay? Um, so yeah, but this, again, like I said, wasn't for me. It's just got like the ruche around the waist, little frill detail. It was a nice length. It's sheer at the back. I think this is really, really cute with like just some plain white heels. Um, really, really easy to wear. Just, again, a whole outfit in one and this one was 35 squid. Not bad. Not bad. I feel like this is quite a good quality one. So another ASOS own one. This is really, really pretty. This is like a creamy colour. I love, oh, I love this. Look at that. That is beautiful. And um, when I got out the bag, I wasn't sure, but I do love it on. I love the ruffles going down it. And then I'm just going to show you that bottom ruffle. They're just tied in with the neckline, which I think is really, really nice. I think the neckline was lovely. I think I probably should have put a bra on with it because it didn't really do much for my boobies. But I'm just all about that bra-free life these days. How can people wear bras? I haven't worn a bra for a year. Over a year now. The only ones I will wear is either a strapless one if I like really need to, or um, what are they called? Like a sports bra, but it's not even a sports bra, it's just basically a material bra. There's no wiring in it, it's the most comfortable thing. It will change your life, and granny pants will change your life, just saying. If you're too young for granny pants, yeah, I'm sorry, but when you get there, you will be like, ah, oh, I remember that time that girl told me about granny pant life. <laughs> anyway, back to the dress. Um, I really like this, it goes in under the boobs. It's been very flattering on all body shapes, I think, this one. Um, really simple, elegant, lovely. Maxi, this is definitely me maxi on someone who's shorter than me. Um, it went down to my ankle, so it'll be perfect maxi length for people of under five foot ten. Um, I really, really like it. I love the pretty floral details in it, and this was thirty-five pound, which I think is a really decent price. Yeah, I think that's a really decent price for this one. Only a few more dresses to go. So this one um, is similar to the, the blush pink one I showed you earlier. Again, it's from Pretty Little Thing. The only difference is this one is more of a midi length. So I think this style of dress is gorgeous. Again, it's, it's very similar. It's got the same sleeves, but this is obviously in a different print and it's in a completely different material. It's more like a satiny, silky material, which I really enjoy, but I do always feel slightly like I'm in satin PJs. Anyone else feel like that? Or like a satin nighty? But I do, I do like that look, so it's fine. Um, this one's down to £28 again, it was in the sale. Really, really pretty and just very classy, this one. I feel like this one you could just go on like a, maybe a girls' night with. Maybe you could wear this to a wedding, a christening. Um, you could probably wear this for work. It's, very, it's gonna be very versatile if you work in like an office with some nice heels. Really, really subtle and just effortlessly stylish, in my opinion. 
Um, this one was, however, a little bit big, so I maybe would go down a size. This one's a size 12, so personally I would have gone down to a size 10. Um, and yeah, I like this one. I do like it. Oh, I said I didn't like it, but I do, I do, looking at it, I like it. On me, didn't like it. The pleat is also a lot tighter because of the material, but I, I do like that. <laughs> and else going crazy? Or is it just me? So this one is back to an ASOS own design. This one's a size 12 again, fit was perfect. And this one has got gorgeous puffy sleeves. I like the print on this, I think it's a really nice colour. In real life, it is, it's off-white, it's not actually white white. I say it's like a blushy white, which I think is nice. And it's interesting they put the blushy white with the red and the yellow, but I do kind of like it. Um, but it's hard to see, well actually it is coming up quite well on the camera, it's quite blushy pink. Um, but when I was taking a photo of it, it did look very white. Um, so this has got, it's literally a dress at the back and then the front looks like a two piece, which I really think is cool. And when I put it on, I was like, I've never put anything like this on before. This one was £42, so we're going up a little bit here, but I guess that's because the design detail is quite funky. So as you can see, you could tie it in a bow there like I did in the cutaway, but I think the correct way to actually wear it is tie that round, tie that round and then tie it at the back, um, which I did do in the cutaway as well, if it's got there by now. Um, but personally I liked it tied at the front, I just felt a little bit more sassy with it like that. <laughs> sassy with it like that, I really well just done Oh my god. Could you tell it was fast before I just did that? Probably at the speed I was talking. When I get excited, I talk really fast, so I do apologise. Actually, I'm not apologising, I'm getting excited, I'm just apologising if I'm talking a bit fast. But I can't speak slowly like this. It just would take all day to get through all these dresses. There's far too many, too many beautiful things to get through. Yeah, I'm losing the plot. And this looks like a 90 you're holding up here, but actually it's like a beach sundress. So I put it over just a blush pink bikini in the cutaway. And I think this detail, I'm sorry, how stunning. This dress is stumbles. Literally gorgeous. It's complete maxi. It's completely effortlessly just soup. I just love it. I want to go to the Maldives and I want to wear this dress. I'm going to go to the Maldives just so I can wear this when all this is over. I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I just love all the colours in it. I love the pattern. I love the print. I love the silver going through it. I'm, not, I'm normally more of a gold gal, but I'm not going to lie. I love it. I just think the silver makes it look beautiful with the pink. It's stunning. It's, it's just gorgeous. It was down from £32 to £28, which I think is a great price. I got this in a size 12. And for me, the fit was nice. It didn't really like cling. So I probably would go down a size. Maybe go down to a size 10 on this one um, because I think you could get away with it. But I probably could try altering the straps and see if that made any difference. However, it was like around the body that it was a little bit big. But I guess on holiday when you're hot, I feel like you always expand when you're hot. So it would be kind of good to have some space in the dress um, whilst you're hot and sticky and it sticks to you. Um, but I think that's really cute and pretty. Peace. Oh, look at that material. That's just stunning. <laughs> so we've got another ASOS own one here. Mm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love this one. I do think the print is super pretty, but it does remind me of my nan's old curtains. Also, the frill didn't sit very well. Just putting all the floors out there right now. I think other than that, it was pretty okay. The frill didn't sit right. This was a little bit big around the waist. Did it have a split? Yeah, it's got a split up the leg, which I like. I always like a little split because I think, well, get them legs out. You've got the legs, get them out. We've all got legs, so we should get them out. <laughs> um, I do, like I said, I really like the color of this. I like frill detail. The neck, I don't know what it was. It just didn't sit quite right. And this I, back, I really like it. I think this is really pretty and really elegant. Again, it's that material that doesn't stretch too much, so it's good that it's got like a stretchy waist and a stretchy back but it's that quite stiff material. Um, and the back obviously has got this really pretty like do up bit, which I really like. It's a nice length dress and it is a really pretty, it is really pretty, it's just, it's just, I feel like the quality is not quite there on it and that's what's letting it down. It's like little attention to detail to the sizing would have made, made a big difference on this one. 
and then I probably would have kept it. But this is £30, and for me personally, I think you could get something like this from like Boohoo, um, Misguided, or what's the other one? There's another one like that, isn't there? Um, like Nasty Girl, and they're like, they're on offer for like £12 to £15, £18 max. I think £30 personally for me on this one is a little bit much. But it is really pretty, and if you get the money, why not treat yourself? So I've saved this gorgeous little number to last because I really like this one. Really, really like this. Look, I'm just going to give you a little glimpse. Oh, look at that sleeve. Really beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this one when I got on, I was like a bit confused, like what the hell go is going on here? So again, at the back it's a complete dress. At the front it's cut out and looks like a two-piece, which again, I like. Um, so this one, I wrapped around and then tied it at the back, which you'll see in the cutaway, it's kind of hard to show you here. And then I wrapped it all the way around and tied it into a little bow at the front, which I think looked really nice. This, one's, this one is £35. Um, I really like this one. I just think it's gorgeous. This is very um, Zara-y, I think, with these puffball sleeves. The shape of the dress is really cute and it's, it is short, but it, because it's like a stiff short, there's no worry about it being too short that you know, your butt's gonna come out or something like that. Actually, one of them, I can't remember which one it was now. And I think I did a drill in it and I was like, yeah, my butt just definitely came out. Could have gone to cut that out. I really like this and I think it's a really nice piece to finish on. I love the, the way it's cut out. I thought when I opened it out of the bag, I thought, oh, do I want this part of my tummy out? Not really, but actually, when you tie it like, like I did in the cutaway, which you'll see, you'll see that actually it's not like, hey, here's my tummy. Just come out to see you. <laughs> it's just a really cute, pretty, fun dress. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's dress ASOS spring summer haul. Um, I just think all the floral pieces at the minute are just inspiring me and making me pick more things that are full of colour, which I'm really enjoying adding a bit more colour into my wardrobe. Um, if you really loved any of the pieces from today's video, please leave me down below a comment and let me know which one was your favourite. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to click the thumbs up Hit subscribe for good vibes and I hope to see you in the next video. I upload Monday, Wednesday and Sunday and Sunday is always whole day as it is today. So I hope to see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to go and check out those ones down below that I told you about during the video. And also head over to my Instagram and my like to know it page, both at with Love Katie. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.